I'm a co-captain of uh, Code Frankridge with Hans, who can't make it tonight, and there's a couple other Code Frankridge members. And just a quick plug, we meet uh, every other Tuesday here in the boardroom, 5.30 to 7. Our next meeting is uh, October 14th. Uh, right now, we're, we're having a lot of fun working with open trails data, which is like a new standard of working with trails data. And uh, uh, Mike and Matt have done a lot of work on that and some other people. Uh, I'm going to pitch like three things and then throw some spaghetti against the wall if anyone's interested. I'm going to take off at 7 and be super rude. Uh, Last thing about Code Frank Rich, it's also pizza and beer. Yeah, there is pizza and beer. Yes, Code oh. Frank Rich. So, uh, I love with that friend and you get more people. I, well, actually, when I was done at the Code for America Summit, they were like, be careful on that, or it'll just get people that just show up <laughs> to drink beer and don't code at all. Um, uh, flu shots. Uh, the first thing I want to pitch is, is flu shot information. Uh, I talked with Lance. We're trying to find some information. This is Chicago, and you can choose uh, uh, where there's flu shots in the next seven days or on the day. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska Regional Hospital, um, Tuesday and Wednesday, or Wednesday and Thursday, had a drive-through flu shot. So uh, the project would be getting flu shot information that we can find and uh, cajoling it from other people and putting it in something similar to this format. This is Chicago's, and uh, it's a Google Fusions table that it reads the data from, so it should be a way for people to update it, and you can use this on your phone as well. So it would be stealing that. Uh, the next thing is, where is it? It's jury duty. How many people have had to go uh, to jury duty? And when you have jury duty, you have to call in every night and see if your group number is called. And what I would like to do is work on an app that listens to the voicemail that you have to call and tells you uh, if your group has been called and sends you a text message. So, because if it, they always threaten you, I don't know anyone who this has happened to, but if you don't come in on the day you're supposed to, they're supposed to be, they can put out a bench warrant for your arrest if you miss jury duty. So uh, there's an application called Twilio that does a lot of work with uh, sending text messages and recording phones. And I think uh, if it can transcribe uh, the voice well enough, it should be able to uh, be able to send you a text. You would you would register your group and your phone number, and it would text you if you had your your, your phone number got called. Um, and then the other one is this is an example. This is Hans's project. He's not here, or one of the code for Anchorage. It's uh, a way to see trails in Anchorage. This is actually Summit, Ohio. Uh, just to show you a quick demo, you can say I want to go a, on a two to five mile trail and I want a bike trail and it like narrows it down and then it'll show you where the trail is. And this is a way to incorporate a bunch of different trail data from different systems so that people can see them in, in one format. And uh, Code Frankers has been doing a lot of stuff with trails and there'll be other pitches related to trails uh, as well. And here is uh, here's the data we have so far for for Anchorage, I don't know if it'll zoom out. There's a lot of trails without names. Uh, we were joking that if you come help work on it, you could name, name the trail after yourself. Uh, I'm not sure how Parks and Recs will go with that, but there's 2,141 different trailheads uh, or trail segments here. And uh, so we need a lot of work on um, figuring out, on uh, adding different data to the trails. That might also morph into something else because Mike and Matt have been working on some trail applications and stuff with Kincaid, and they'll talk about that later. But if anyone's interested in that. Uh, okay, this is spaghetti at the wall uh, time. This is a, a Twitter bot that uh, goes to friends of pets in Anchorage, and it randomly chooses a pet, and twice a day it tweets out a picture of the pet and says the name and, and to adopt me. Um, there's a couple things to work on just on... The photo size seemed to be inconsistent on, on the different animals, but uh, uh, basically this is an application that's in a bunch of different cities, and if someone was interested, it would, it would just be a small project in terms of uh, figuring out, A, how to query multiple uh, different pet places. There's four or five different places, and maybe Matsu, and then also just if there's a really easy lift to uh, <coughs> resize the photos. So. Sometimes, when you look at it on your phone, sometimes you just have a, a dog's nose as the photo. <laughs> Other times it's kind of like uh, shown different ways here. Um, this is Twilio. This had to do with the jury duty thing. Uh, this was, uh, I probably forgot.
regret it. Uh, I set up something for Uber, but of course there, there was an injunction when I had it set up afterwards, uh, or trying to stop Uber. But uh, there is an API out there. Um, let me see, last things. Uh, this was a, a, a way to check your food stamp balance. If you have an EBT number, you can uh, send a text message on your phone with the number, and it'll listen to the recorded balance and then send you a text message back, which is kind of what I want to do with the jury duty thing as well. And then I will just hit the other tabs. Uh, I'll have information about the projects up on uh, blog.brandonbab.com uh, since I have to take off and I'm being rude. Here's the meetup for Code for Anchorage. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. If people are interested in, in working on uh, SNAP or food, food stamp stuff, there's a lot of stuff going on with Code for America. This is a way to find uh, locations near you that um, take uh, EBT cards, which are food stamp kind of debit cards. And I think I think that's that's it for the scatter approach there. <laughs> uh, let me. There's oh, and if people were interested, uh, I was going to teach an intro to Cardo DB, which is a uh, basically just a way to put GIS information on a map. This is a uh, the Muni has a ton of information. This is all the parcel data for the city, where you can see uh, different information about parcels. But the Muni has a ton of data. It's easy to load it in. It would be like a one hour intro class. And then, I'm still waiting on this, but uh, someone at Parks and Recs, I was talking to them about putting GPS on the ski trail groomers, um, so you could see when a ski trail had just been groomed. And we're trying to figure out a solution between where it's not too invasive, but uh, Holly, Holly, oh, okay. she's like, oh yeah, I can make people do that. And I'm like, well, if I don't want to upset people. Yeah, but, I, I, have, I have. So yeah, Jeff, maybe, maybe Jeff has more answers on that. Uh, and that's it. Thanks. Yeah. Well, that was way too long. Uh, no, no, no. That, I just